Burdowski said the company may first have to take out fuel and ballast water, and try to move it during high tide. If that doesn't work, additional efforts may include removing some containers and digging away the sand banks the ship is lodged on. Bernhard Schulte Ship Management, the company that manages the vessel, told the Associated Press that there were no reports of injuries and all 20 members of the crew are safe. The company that owns the ship, Shoiki and Keisha, said in a statement that it is cooperating with local authorities and Ever Given's managers to fix the situation, but it admitted that it is facing extreme difficulty. It also offered an apology for causing a great deal of worry to ships in the Suez Canal and those planning to go through the canal. We sincerely apologize for causing a great deal of worry to ships in the Suez Canal and those planning to go through the canal, the company added. It wasn't immediately clear what caused the ship to become wedged, an event that experts say they had never heard of happening before in the canal's 150-year history. Evergreen Marine Corporation, a major Taiwan-based shipping company that operates the ship, said the Ever Given had been overcome by strong winds. An Egyptian official, who spoke to the Associated Press on condition of anonymity because he wasn't authorized to brief journalists, similarly blamed a strong wind. An early report suggested the ship suffered a power blackout before the incident, something Ever Given manager Bernhard Schulte Ship Management denied Thursday, the Associated Press reported. Initial investigations rule out any mechanical or engine failure as a cause of the grounding, the company said. As crews work to dislodge the ship Thursday, some shipping firms are considering other routes. At least 150 ships are waiting for the ship to be cleared, canal service provider Leth agencies told AP. Some are waiting near port set on the Mediterranean Sea, while others are near port Suez on the Red Sea. But there are also at least 13 ships stuck behind the Ever Given in the Channel in the Bitter Lakes according to the SCA statement. Leth said those ships, and eventually the Ever Given when it is freed, will have to be reversed back to Port Suez to clear the canal system. This would have major economic implications as the narrow, man-made canal is a vital waterway that sees shipments of essentials like food and oil. Every day the canal is closed, container ships and tankers are not delivering food, fuel and manufactured goods to Europe and goods are not being exported from Europe to the Far East, said Mercaliano, an associate professor of history at North Carolina's Campbell University. The Ever Given, built in 2018, is among the largest cargo ships in the world. At more than 1,300 feet long and 630 feet wide, it can carry up to 20,000 containers. It was traveling at 12.8 knots before the crash.